Hello, all you happy folks. What do I have on my desk again? I have a box from Lynn. And um, I have to tell you, I am super grateful for having met Lynn. She is a dear sweetheart and has continuously been a great supporter of the foundation. In fact, this month she adopted 14 different hardists who she's sending the package to. Very grateful. If you ever want to adopt a hardist, let me know. Send me an email at help at disabledartist.org. Um, and this is, in addition to her adopting the hardest, some other stuff to go to support us. And so in these bags, we're always smiling about different ways and different things that can be used. Um, and she uses every square inch of a box, which is absolutely fabulous. Did you ever notice how this says mom underneath her neck? M-O-M. -M. I don't know if they did that on purpose or not, but that's what it looks like. Ooh, these are great for card kits. Then here I have an 1800s book cover. Let's just see this thing. Oh, I'm so nervous about untying it. Oh, look at the embossing on this book cover. How amazing this could be as a little journal. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Both sides. I'll show you what the embossing looks like up close. Put you back there try to tie you best I can without making a mess. There we go. And of course I made a mess. Look at that. You guys... You, I can't be trusted in tying a simple knot. And I even put it in upside down. But that's okay. It'll be fine. And then you have a little a little post-it note to stack. Oh, you just make me happy. It says, for Megan in care. I accidentally called myself Megan and her Linda one time. That's why we do that. Oof, look at this bunch of photo corners. Those look like the kind you lick and stick. And these Christmas cards, I'm going to set these aside for when we come closer to the Christmas in July, when I send out all the Christmas supplies. That gives people plenty of time to prepare. Actually, let me set this over here. This is with the junk journal stuff. The book covers with the auction stuff. These photo corners will go in to the sort pile. Today, I'm not doing as much of a sort. I just have junk journal auction, what needs to be sorted, and then Christmas, because I instantly sort out Christmas stuff. The sweet little heart can be at any time. But I'm going to put that one in junk journal, just because that's where I feel like putting it. And all these little plastic filler bags are great, because they're good for putting kits into them, so I appreciate that. Oh my goodness. Look at these images. This is going to be good stuff. Oh, look at that. So it's a little guy, a military man with his little baby. And it says five months. That's all it says on the back. Aww. It's another one with the little one, but he looks younger there. March 31st, 1944. Definitely still in it then. Oh, look how cute and tiny. No date on this. That's a brighter white. It just says 514 on the back. Oh, how sweet. These pictures are fabulous. This one says Kodak, December 1959. Oh, look how good this one is. Oh, it doesn't say, but this is definitely a fabulous one. The texture of the paper is fabulous, too couple of people and they're looking at pictures. Oh, we're looking at a picture of people looking at pictures. Oh, that is so sweet. And look at his pen. Oh, that is just so sweet. Let's look at the date on this. Oh my gosh, I love the thing it's in. We, You know we want to get the date in here. How do I get the picture out? It's not there. It's not there. It's not coming out. No. 
I think they glued it on. There's no slip out spot. All right, I'm not gonna mess with it then. Whoever wins this in an auction will be able to mess with it. So I have some fabulous vintage photos that will go into a future auction and just all too sweet. So I'm gonna put that into the auction pile. Well, that is a good one. Cards, pockets, and tags. Make sure I'm not off screen here. 121 beautiful card creations from the designers of Stamper's Warehouse. So this one will be saved for media month. And, oh, that's fabulous. Look at this. So many different crafty ideas. I used to have a whole ton of that, that kind of leaf. I don't know what I ever did with them. I used them regularly, and st it's almost like they multiplied. I always seem to have them, even though I used them a lot. I think that's what happens when you have a boatload. I used to have, and I really wish I still had it, and I don't know if anybody's ever seen these, but it looked like it was in the shape of a Chinese takeout, right? It was a box, and it was a very colorful box, and when you opened them up, it was the tiniest, I mean, tons and tons and tons of tiny tags with words on them. Used them all the time. And when I downsized and I moved to a boat, I mean, we really truly downsized to a boat. Um, but when I downsized, what happened was um, I de-stashed a boatload of my craft supplies. That's one of the things I miss. Like, who would have thought I missed that? But that's another one of those things that was one of those endless supplies, always look good on anything. And I would dangle it with the other little tags. And oh, look at these owls. We have hardest who love owls. But um, that'll definitely go into the sort sticker stuff. Make mine to go. Oh, and I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, isn't that funny? I was just talking about that. They did it with a mahjong. Oh my gosh, look at this. You'll need a Chinese takeout container, a quart cat theme fat quarter. Oh my gosh, these this is great. And all these different things. How to make the bowls, general instructions on that one. Oh, I've seen a whole boatload of those guys. You can make these in a flash with a stapler too. just in case you ever need a bowl in a pinch. Oh, this is great. This will definitely also be media mail month. Just too fun. Ooh, look, well wait, wait, let's look at this one first. Survived beautifully. It's a wooden stroller. And are you, do you, do you move? You know you want to move. It doesn't want to move. The stroller's not going anywhere. <laughs> It's so cute. We could fill the stroller with buttons. Oh, these buttons are fantastic. Look at that. So, yeah, it wouldn't take much to fill that stroller. Somebody's going to enjoy doing the stroller. These buttons, I have a button project coming up, so I'm going to start stashing buttons. If you all have buttons you want to de-stash, mail them this way because these cuts kits I'm gonna be working on over the next several months. And yep, I'm looking forward to doing it. Um, I, my starter pack is this. And I bought these on animal, um, Amazon. Uh, 1,200 pieces, resin, coconut brown. Um, and I think it's wood and resin because some of them don't look like they're all resin, but it's random. Um, it's everything from brown to black. Um, does look like it has uh, like cedar colors, but yeah. This is my starter. 1200 is not going to go very far. So the button project is going to be a surprise for the hardest, but I am going to need a whole boatload of them. So the more buttons sent, the better for right now. Um, and once I get a bucket full of buttons, and I'm not kidding, we're talking about a bucket full of buttons, then I'm going to be able to send um, the project ideas for them to create with the buttons. And I'm going to give them like four different project ideas of what to do with the button buttons that are sent. 
It does not have to be neutral colors. They can be buttons of all styles and types. It's, um, and I also have already the ones with the bodkins. Um, however you say that. The old military buttons. Oh. I'm feeling like a Tuesday. Yeah, we could go you too. Okay, I'm sorry. I, that wasn't funny. I don't, again, I don't know why you guys put up with me. Tiny, tiny seed beads. More tiny, tiny seed beads. These are for the jewelers. Oh, what I do with my box for the jewelers? I don't have one right now, so hold your britches, everybody. I, oh, here it is. I thought I had one. All right, so this one doesn't go with the jewelers. This one goes with the paper crafters or mixed media. That's how those go. Ooh, look at these. You know I'm going to open this one up. Oh, yeah, look at that. So there's a whole bunch of little plastic shiny things right here. Look at that. Isn't that cool? You know that's going to be a part of somebody's kit. I haven't quite figured out what that's going to be yet, but that's going into a kit somehow. There we go. It's all nice and tied. This will go into the multi-project box. I have a box of when I have a whole bunch of something. Um, that way I'll do the one of these, one of these, one of these, one of these. Or it'll feed kit ideas when I start to see things gathered together. So this goes with the jewelry makers. Oh, look at this one. This is finished jewelry. Uh, so finished jewelry goes into the auctions. How cute that is. So um, on that note... Does anyone who's watching want to volunteer to make, if you have them, um, a whole bunch of, oh, how do you make, how do you, what do you call those boxes? Um, they're called pillow boxes, I just remembered. So I was looking for the maker. I don't have the maker with me right now. I have it somewhere else. Um, but... Basically, another safe way for the larger jewelry like this to go into the pillow boxes and I can wrap it, toss it in the pillow box so it can ship safely and look really cool when they receive it. So I like when people buy stuff and it looks cool when they receive it. And so that's what this one will be. Oh my gosh, I just want to alter a box and use these little stars, though. They're too cool. All right, I got distracted. I know. That goes to auction. And then she has sweet napkins. And these look to be card kits. So this one is winter. Happy holidays. Oh, it's altar. I'm trying to see the... So it's coordinating papers. This one says fall. This one says all through the seasons. Photos that I love. Summer, summer, summer. Okay, I'm getting the theme now. School days. And then these are tags. So these kits are actually quite coordinating. And I'm thinking what this could do is just be the starters towards some card kits. So Awesome sauce. I just got a ding, a notification that uh, we have exciting stuff from, from Dress for Success. So that was awesome. So check that out. That is so cool. All right, this is going to go off to my left for immediate um, put into card making kits. That's what that's going to be. So, well, off to my right. I'm going to do that instead. Hold your britches. I've got to respond. Okay. For you, I was never gone. For me, I'm back. Okay. So we have sent with love. Sent with love. Sent with love. Oh, that's so sweet with a little heart in the middle. I really want to figure out how to make a custom stamp. That's what I want to figure out how to do. I probably need to find somebody. That's my next gonna do thing. Oh, look. Oh, wait, it's a maraca that doesn't, that doesn't shake. Now, you know what this is going to be? This is going to be something someone paints. 
That's, that's definitely something like that. Or wouldn't this be really cool if somebody got creative and decided to use it as a stamp? You know, if you're a mixed media artist and you wanted to do a, like a roll and you wrap rubber bands around it or something. Where's my rubber bands? I know I've got a couple in here. Just imagine this. You wrap rubber bands around it in a couple of different ways. And then you roll it in paint. And then that's the design that it rolls off. You know, something like that. Somebody's looking at me going, no, that's not what you do. You know, you can do whatever you want to do. That's what this is going to be. It's going to be whatever you want it to be. But it's not a baby because it doesn't fit. There. Nope, still doesn't fit. This is really cute. I like these. So I'm probably going to send the carriages to the same person. If there's a request for that, someone let me know. Oh, this is cute. It has the scissors, the apple, a little ruler, and a crayon. Those are adorable. This looks to be old stamping up. Uh, you warm my heart. It's got the little teapots. And now, of course, I'm singing that I'm a little teapot song. Another fabulous one. They're so freaking cute. Ooh, and look at these. Hold on. Hold your britches. Let me see what this is. Okay, these look like they want to be altered. Look at that. These are vintage looking safety pens. Not even showing you proper. Feels like metal. Looks like um, the way it patinas. It might even be copper, but I don't think so. Um, I'm looking to see if you can slide something inside of it. But either way, it does look like you can layer this up pretty good and make a really cool brooch out of that. I'm going to put it in with the jewelry makers. Let me see if you fit in here. Put one in there. Put the other one in there. Zip this baby up. Zip lock! And there it goes. A little bit of blue ribbon. I'm going to put that in here. That ribbon stash is going to be the beginning of a ribbon stash bag. And then she has... Sounds messy. I'm going to read it. it. says Montag's. What do we have inside? Oh my gosh, that's a heavenly bunch of buttons. Look at that. And I was just talking about buttons. So, yep, this is awesome sauce. The more buttons, the better. Better The better the variety, the better. Oh, my gosh, that's heavenly. That is freaking heavenly. And we were just talking about it. Super cool. I know, I sound like a teenager sometimes. Just ignore me. This goes in with the button stuff. I gotta set that aside. And look, there's more buttons. And these are little flower buttons. These would be good for a yo yo exercise, though, because they're all the same. So I might set this aside instead of with all the, the other buttons. Nope, it's going with all the other buttons. That's it. That's how that's going. Oh, look, 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 look. These are flipping cool. Do you know what these are? These are mother of pearl buttons. That's what these are. Aren't they cool? Put that baby back in there. That's a good find. And then a bracelet that's finished. And another bracelet that's finished. And this is a belt. Look at that. For seven gypsies. It looks like a belt you could put on a journal. A book belt. There you go. That's a good idea. Look at that. Totally fit whatever size you want it to be. Why don't we think of making things like that? Put that on my list of things to do. Whoever's got my list of things to do, which is me, um, I need to put that in there. That's a great idea. Book belt project. Little tassel that's all nice and protected. So this is chalk ink. 
And then it says Acid Free Pigment Ink. And then um, this stamp says Love Ya. I'm putting it over with the little heart. And this one, this one too, has like a little square with a little heart right there. Isn't that cute? Ooh, look at this one. Photo Turns Kit Black. So these are the things that can cover your photo like this. You see that? Isn't that cute? Wow, that is awesome. This is going to go into the auction. The reason that's going in the auction is it'll look good in a cigar box. Take these off. They're going. I, I'm allergic to uh, most metals, so I can't wear jewelry very long unless it's like stainless steel, has no nickel. I even have trouble with my own engagement ring sometimes because for whatever reason, even though it's um, white gold, they used nickel in it. So I don't know why anybody would do that. It says 100% recycled handbook, handmade book. That's what it says. Get this off right here. I'm trying to see the beauty of this book coming at you. And that looks like all handmade paper, too. Love paper like this. And then the center of the book is right here, wherever it is. There you go. Ties out with the wrap on the back side. This looks like it's made. I almost said sorry silk, but I can't, I don't really, I'm not really sure actually. They did a good job with their mitered corners. I tried that, it never comes out that good. Tap that one right there. Put that it's handmade right on the inside so it doesn't get lost. And you're going to go in the auction because you're finished. Look at this. There's another book belt, a little one. Oh my gosh, that's such a cute idea. Look at these book belts. Okay, the book belts are going to go into the auction also. Um, but I do need to put a reminder to sell that that's something to be made. So I think what I'll do is I'll put this in my project box. Um, let me see what sizes these book belts are. Are there any that are the same size? All right, yep, this one's the same size as one, so that'll go into the project box for kit ideas. And then she's got another tassel like that. Now what do we have in here? It looks like it's going to be delicate. Hold your britches, here it comes. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. That is glass art. Wouldn't that be funny if you sent your kid off to college and you said, I got my eye on you. <laughs> oh, Lordy. You know, I just... That's too funny. Alright, that's going to go into one of the cigar boxes. That's what that's going to go into. Um, and then there's another one of those little buttons, but I'm going to put that back here. With the buttons. She has a whole bunch of eyelets and brads in here. What is this? I have to see this one just because he wants to be seen. Oh my gosh, isn't that one of the cutest brads you've ever seen? Okay, one of the hardests sent me a note the other day that was talking about um, kit ideas, and one of the kit ideas is to um, do basic brads and then um, E6000 to glue really cool things on top of the basic brads. Thought it was a great idea. So I'm going to look for little teeny things and then order some basic brads. Oh, it's a whole bunch of wishes and wishbones. Okay, this is definitely going into one of the cigar boxes. What's going in there? You know what? This will too. I'll just put this one in one of the cigar boxes. Not everybody has an eyelet setter. Then the these are also buttons. This is says Bazil buttons. Those are cute. So on to the buttons. Cute little heart eraser. This goes with the jewelry makers. Oh my gosh, there's some cool stuff in this one. 
More for the jewelry makers. More for the jewelry makers. But wait, there's more seed beads for the jewelry makers. Don't come out of there. I didn't give you permission for that. There's a little hole in that bag. Gonna have to have a conversation. I'm gonna roll it up. Prevent it from uh, coming out again. There we go. Fantabulous. Little plastic baggie. A bag of seed beets. She's got uh, green and yellow and pink and black and green. And wait, more green. I'm feeling earth move under my feet. Yep, that's what happens when I see too much green. That's a good little blue, too, in there. Oh my gosh, look at this color. That is just... I was going to make a joke, and I can't find one. It's like split pea soup, maybe, but too yellow. Did you leave me a Cheerio on purpose? Was your baby helping you pack? <laughs> oh, she's so cute. I don't know if you guys know this, but she ended up um, taking care of and adopting a sweetheart. And this says snaps. Look at this. Oh my gosh, how cool this little book is. It's perforated too. You put your little snaps in here. When you're done, though, you put your little snaps in there, and it is going to be one chubby book. So if you want to alter this book, I would actually tear out about half the pages, which gives you good cardstock to work with, so you have plenty of room for your pictures on all si on both sides. If you wanted on the picture on both sides, maybe you tear out two thirds of the pages. Yeah, that's pretty cool, though. I like that. It's going to go into the projects. Some fabulous. Scrabble letters. Um, another stamp pad. I am always in need of stamp pads. If you guys wanted to know what are you always in need of, that's one of them. Ink pads, I mean. This is a book cover. Coordinating little dotty things. Post holes. Um, right here. It looks like you can use this as the back side. Your paper's in the middle, and it's already ready to be a project. But isn't that a cool starter project? You know what I'm going to do? Oops. I'm going to put these, which kind of play with it a little bit. Do you see that? It's in my head. I'm going to put these with those. And now it's not a card kit. It's a page kit where each one of the pages has its own little design. Yep, that works in my head. And I'm going to put both napkins with it to give it that country vibe. There we go. Now these are awesome. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen these in the various places, but they make the coolest stamps. Then you color them in. So... Um, they stamp in like the outline and then you go back in and you color in the outline so this is good for stamping layering coloring um, and I just I just love it all together it's just really cute um, it's made by Hampton art definitely cool stuff though Okay, these ones are going to be in um, future cigar boxes. Uh, this is a jack-o'-lantern face, a little pumpkin, a key and um, a lock, and then a skull and crossbones with the bat. Do you guys want to know a weird tidbit? A lot of people see this and they think of the Jolly Roger, but there were a whole bunch of different kinds of Jolly Roger flags. And um, this is just one of the many, many styles of Jolly Roger flags back in the day for pirates. This is for the paper crafters. 
because they're connected. That's kind of how I discern the difference. And the paper crafter slash mixed media artist is kind of where I usually send those kinds of beads. Ooh, those are tiny and really cool. Look at that color. I hope that's coming across. Actually, it looks like little metal ones. I don't know if it is, but that's what it looks like to me. Another finished jewelry piece. A little elephant. Oh, if you lost it. I found the elephant in the room. Just in case you lost it. I've heard of a couple people losing elephants. Oh my gosh. This is a ball of fun. Let me see. It, it's just little flags of different colors as it goes along. How fun is that? Definitely a little ball of fun. I'm going to set that there. P's, Q's, U's, and T's. Again, my totally my favorite game in the whole world. Yep, and my brain just spelled the word quote and vote. There you go. Get out and vote. Regardless of who you vote for, get out and vote. Let's put all these in here. This stamp, huh, I thought it was the letter M, and it's another elephant. Eh, that's so cute. And then this one, the brain isn't processing. I know, I know, I should have my glasses on for this. I don't know, which in French would be je ne sais pas. Okay, another fabulous button. Goes behind me. These refill bags, and yes, these refill bags are, one, likely going to be in a scavenger hunt at some point, and two, um, they make good journal covers. So it's just a good reminder that um, it's not just recyclable by tossing it in your recycles, but bags make the greatest journal covers, and instantly you have a little pocket in there, or pages inside of your journal. And so she has two more books in here. What to do with the plastic canvas. How to cloth bind a paperback book. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. A step-by-step -step guide for beginners. And then fast fabric gift cards. Oh, that's cute too. So those are 12 little projects. Oh, That is cute. I already stacked stuff on top of that. But wait, there's another one. Another bracelet. And then in here, these are, okay, a button. One of them is a button. Let's pull them all out. Because I'm going to separate them. Because if it's a flat back, that's going to be separate. Um, these are two erasers. I put the little hard erasers together. And... These heart erasers would be kind of fun for mark making. Do you see how it has two lines right there? Um, if you attached it to the top of a pencil, which um, I have an eraser here, but attach it like this and you have a jelly plate, then imagine it's a, there we go, getting it to where I have some pressure. And then you drag it on your jelly plate like this to make marks, or like that, or maybe even like this. You know, to mark making on your jelly plate. So something like that. It takes you, when you get unusual objects in your packages, um, instead of just using it as an eraser, which you could do, um, you can think outside of the box on different ways that you could use the items. Okay, this one's a button. These are flat backs. And I can't see the oh look at that. Look at that jack-o'-lantern face. He's so cute. Okay, we are at the bottom of the box. And I am setting these two aside because they're buttons and these flat backs. See if you're gonna fit in here. And the flat backs go well with both the mixed media folks and the paper crafters. 
And you guys, would you just please join me in thanking the fabulous Lynn Wright for always being there and being a part of the foundation and making such a difference in so many different lives um, by, by just always helping in so many different ways. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but I've actually given her um, a title and she's become the auction procurement manager. She helps me find unusual things for the auctions and stuff to, to help out because I just don't have a lot of time to go hunting for the unusual stuff in the auctions like I used to. So with that said, love and hugs everyone. Stay out of trouble and take care.